guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Rogue Deck Building Channel. In today's video, we're looking at Feramosa Lorentis deck, or actually Feramosa Possible Tech Team deck featuring Lorentis. So, Ultra Beast 260 Grass type Pokemon with very powerful Jet Punch attack. I mean, Jet Punch for 30, and then you can also do 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for the benched Pokemon, obviously. That damage can be increased by a lot more just by attaching single choice band, it can already be 60 to GX to GX or EX Pokemons, but 20 more for each Sunny Day Laurentis in play. So we can crank up that damage up to um, 140 with just a single energy, plus we can spread 30 on the bench. Not bad for one energy. Elegant Soul for 190, for two Grass and one Colorus. I really like the fact that you can also have that counter gain attached in order to use an elegant soul with just a single, you know, let's say, um, counter gain and, you know, um, B string, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you can swing for 190, and then next turn that damage will be only 60, but still hitting for 190, and uh, even if the damage residue is down to 60 with the choice, but a couple more Laurentis still can be a decent amount of damage, anyways. Beast Game GX is the GX that I really like. Um, it's not very powerful with the damage output, but the effect of the attack is very, very cool. If the Pokemon is knocked out by the Beast GX, uh, Beast Game GX attack, you can take extra prize card, but if you have seven extra energies, then you can take three extra prize cards, meaning that you can win a game in just a single turn by knocking out your opponent uh, tag team Pokemon with seven extra energies and that's that's just way too insane. Um, so I'm running for copies of Amanthus and Lorantis, also Fair Fermos and Boswell, one of each Marsh out of Mew and Topolele uh, for the Let Loose, for the Bench Barrier and for the Wonder Tag if I need it. Then from the item cards I decided to go with pretty much the most consistent deck list I can get. Uh, for this type of the build. Four B-strings, four net ball for the setup, one rescue stretcher, four copies of Ultra Ball, and then only one stadium, which is a live forest. Why? Because either Paradise and Ban on the online, so I cannot use it unfortunately. In a real life I would definitely go with probably at least two of them. Two of each, two two copies of Choice Bin, one escape board and one weakness policy. Um, in addition to that from supporter cards I have for the draw support four Centios, two Ericas and two copies of Lily. Um, I'm running three copies of Guzma. For the tech supporter cards, I decided to go with two copies of Ace Roller because 260 is not that bad and we can always just scoop a couple times Buzzwell and Feramosa in order to get some advantage against our opponents. But if our opponent can't one hit knock on Buzzwell and Feramosa, this is the good way to go with Ace Roller for the scoop. And then for the um, tech supporters, I decided to go with one Lieutenant Search Strategy, with one Lusamine, and with one copy of Red's Challenge because um, I think that Red Challenge in this build is much better because I will have at least one Pokemon with abilities. Even if I start with the Mew, for me, unfortunately, Green's, Green is uh, GG because I can't use it. And this is the reason why Red is, in my opinion, better. But then Surge must have at least one copy of it. It can definitely be a good way to go with, let's say, Lieutenant Surge. In one turn, you can play literally Lieutenant Surge, Lusamine, and let's say, Ericar. Lily or Cynthia for the draw, which is just insane. And last but not least, 11 energies, and this is the deck list that I'm going to use in today's video. So yeah, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you already didn't, uh, click the notification bell for more future videos, so, then, so you don't miss any future video, of course. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, where I'm going to actually show you how this deck works in the real gameplay, so see you in the game. Alright, so I won the coin flip, and I'm going to start first with... I hope, Fermos and Boswell, nope. With two copies of Fermantis, alright. I mean, not the first thing in the world, still I can get that escape board and retreat for free onto my um, Boswell. As the thing's looking right now, I'm probably just gonna go with my, oh, there it is. Alright, so, Ultra Ball, and I'm not quite sure what type of deck is on the other side of the field, but really doesn't matter too much, let's just go for the Fomantis, the uh, Fomantis number 3, and then I'm gonna go with the Cynthia, and if I if I find another Ultra Ball, I will probably just grab myself a Mars Shadow, but that's just not gonna happen, and I'm just gonna pass the turn for now and see what's gonna be on the other side of the field. 
I'm taking a look at my opening hand. Not the worst thing in the world to start the tree for Mantis and with one Feromosa and Boswell. And in addition to that, I also have a Reds Challenge, Lillian, Erika's Hospitality, and it's some sort of the fighting deck on the other side. I see the the Ansi, there's a double course energy, so probably some sort of the Zora deck. Maybe maybe something else, but Zora like Rock is like 90%, maybe Lycanroc Boswell, yeah, probably Lycanroc Boswell, yeah, Lycanroc Boswell for sure, oh, actually there's Lucario as well, no, oh, Lucario Boswell, Lycanroc, or whatever it is, we're gonna find that out really soon, and I'm gonna put another, should I go with, Let's first go with the... Uh, let's see if we have... Do I have... No, I don't have... Okay, so it's prized, the skateboard. No sign of a skateboard. Um, okay, fair enough. Energy attachment. And I can play my Erica's Hospitality for 5 extra cards. There is a choice bend. That's the extra damage. And I'm just gonna grab that choice bend. Apply a little bit more pressure onto my opponent with the jet punch and looking forward to deal a little bit of damage to the Topolela so I can have much easier way for the one hit knockout against Topolela with my uh, even beast game attack for the triple price card, which means that I can even technically next turn do it. Now get the four cards if they can put two of them in your hand, shuffle the other cards back in your deck. That's the Janine the new um, supporter card reminds me a little bit of the Koga, I don't know why just by the style um, I took 9 damage so 50 50 and 30 that's 80 100 um, why not, I mean I can definitely go for the GX attack right now um, why am I using Red's challenge for the Guzma and that grass energy because I'm desperately trying to grab another Fomantis, actually Lorantis in play. Um, 120, 120, 120, 140, and 90, that's 230. With a choice, he can theoretically knock me out, so I'm not gonna risk. Um, 50, 80, 100. I'm just gonna uh, beast game for the knockout, uh, grab myself three price cards and wait to see if my opponent can knock me on next turn. There we go, there's a skateboard. Hey, a little bit later I grab it, but never mind. So I didn't want to take the risk because with the choice bend, he have obviously clear way for the knockout here with the um, Lucario GX because of the ends on the bench. And there's the choice band. So the good thing is that I didn't attach energy to the um, active Feromosa. But even if I did, I have B-string sitting in my hand for my um, Elegant Soul knockout, knockout. Anyways, next turn, because Lucario is 210 HP and I will have exactly enough damage, even more. I will have 230 with two Lorantis on the bench, which is a good thing. So even without choice band, I can knock him out. So there's the Aura Strike for 170, exactly what he needed. Since he had three price cards, I can also use advantage of my um, Lusamine for the following turn. And I'm looking forward to play a Lusamine. I'm looking forward to attach extra energy. I'm also gonna play um, both Netball cards and in addition to that actually let's just stop there um, that's gonna be the knockout 230 and what's gonna happen next I have no clue because I played my Lysamine and I have another Lorantis and in theory chance to pull another Lorantis and since I have protection from anything um, to my beast Pokemons with Lysamine I can obviously say that this game is probably over, or at least near over, because I mean, even pulling another uh, beast string, I can get even more energies attached to my um, bench at Fermosa and Boswell, and then I can simply, you know, attack for another 200 plus damage versus the Lucario. I'm not sure if my opponent actually uh, checked the effect of the Lucifer, because he's definitely going in with the Aura Strike once again, but. 
right now it is just unfortunately too late since I'm only down to um, one price since I'm only down to one price um, it's obviously that I can just play Guzma but I wanted to see if I can get maybe another Lorantis and swing for like 60, nah, it doesn't matter. We have Guzma anyway, so I can just take the knockout with my first attack versus he's the NC because it's weak on the jet punch. But I could knock pretty much almost anything else. So um, right now I was able to go for like 90 and 30 on the bench with just a single energy and three Lorantis. So that's the GG. Very powerful game here with that Pheromos and Boswell, so let's move on to the another game. <clears throat> Alright, I'm actually very excited to show you up a Boswell and Pheromosa GX with uh, Lorantis. So the main strategy is basically focused around um, first attack and then tanking as much as possible and spreading the damage around. All right, I'm playing against that damage spread that deck wheezing, and it's going to be very important to set the fast as possible that new in play. All right, so what I'm going to do here? Um, first, I'm going to grab myself a one uh, Fermosa and Boswell. I'm going to put it on the bench. I'm going to play one Ultra Ball, and I'm thinking about discarding Lorantis and something like Erica Hospitality. In exchange for that bench barrier Mew, and at least I can prevent the damage down to my bench. So Cynthia to be played. <clears throat> All right, I guess we can also play Choiceman because we obviously not, not gonna need it, and I can pass. I can accelerate my um, bench at Feromos and Basil with the syn uh, Synthesize, which is, for example, also decent attack, especially if I want to stay in the front, for example. Um, and wait with my uh, Boswell on the bench. But it's definitely obvious that I really want to start applying as much pressure as I can in the early stage of the game. So my opponent also plays the Mew with a bench barrier, meaning that I'm not going to be able to snap his bench as well. And meanwhile, he will definitely push me a little bit with his... All right, so um, I'm going to go with a Guzma. I'm gonna go with a Guzma and I'm just gonna hit for like 30 and that's gonna be it. Um, yeah, we'll we'll be happy with 30 damage. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking that more from Shrine. Unfortunately I, I don't have um, Aether Paradise because it's banned card online and I'm not able to play it in my build. In the real life I would obviously play it, but right now unfortunately I cannot use it, so yeah, really slow start and bad start for my opponent. It's pretty obvious, but um, yeah, I probably catch him there with my uh, Mew as well, so he can spread the damage around the board, but at least he's doing a decent amount of damage so far. We're gonna go with... We're gonna go with a Cynthia in this case. I don't want to discard the 10 Surge, neither other supporter cards. Huh, look at this. What do we have here? Um, I'm gonna definitely go for another Fomantis and I'll put one um, Lorantis in play. And more than that, I have Life Forest, which is not bad at all because I can clear all damage from my active Feromosa and Boswell. And I can hit with Elegant Soul for like 210 in this case and pull the first prize card in the game, which will be a another Lorantis. All right, meaning that my base game GX can go for 70 right now and it can even take a two prize cards versus, for example, a Mew, which is a good thing. And there's a Weezing. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, put one damage counter into your opponent's basic Pokemon. Luckily, I'm not gonna have too many basic Pokemons in play. And Splattering Sludge, 40, this attack does also 20 to each of your opponent's matched Pokemon, but as long as I have my Mew, that damage will be prevented. So, there we go, 40, and Detonation Gas can also do some damage. 
What I don't like here is the fact that right now my base damage is just 60. Neither my GX is something bad that I can go for like 90. And this is definitely not something that I feel comfortable with it. Um, Alright, so let it be let it be one one card less in my deck. So I'm gonna go for another Feramosa in this case. And I'm hitting with the elegant soul for just hundred in this case. I'm thinking about next turn using IGX attack and taking two more prize cards as it looks right now. Oh, there's a spell tag, but for the bench it was using. Alright, he already have um, on the active one. Ooh, let loose. Alright, I think I'm probably gonna lose... I'm probably gonna lose my Mew next turn after I knock his wheezing out, so... This is... this is not something that I really feel comfortable with it. So copy of Phil Blower would be awesome. Unfortunately, I I don't have it. So another forty, couple more damage as well. Yeah, definitely gonna get rid of my um, choice bend in this situation as well as the Cynthia play. I need another Boswell and Feramosa, and I'm gonna need Red's Challenge. All right. Not something useful here. Um, yeah, let's go with a beast game. Okay, so he definitely wants to apply some pressure on the Mew, so he can spread the damage on the bench, obviously. And he really wants to apply some pressure to the Feramosa on the bench as well. So Lily and a Net Ball. All right. What's happening next? Um, I need Guzma. I actually need Guzma and I have opportunity to grab Guzma with my top level and then I can knock his Mew out. And theoretically then I can try to win the game just by using my Jet Punch. Something even better than the Guzma in this situation will be Acerola play. So I think I'm gonna need Acerola so badly. And he wants to um, fly flip right now. Or maybe he just wants to apply pressure to the active um, possible. I don't know, but he actually do me a favor there. Um, kind of favor. I lost one more for Mantis from the bench. He's down to 60 HP. So, um... Weakness policy. I can play Red's Challenge, but this is not something that I really want to do. Um, um, I think I'm gonna go with a Top Lele for like Acerol. I think um, I definitely need it. I definitely need that play. I definitely need to scoop that bench and puzzle and Feramosa. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Um, yeah, I wish my opponent had three price cards, but he don't have. I wish I could do that. Unfortunately, I can't, so... Yeah, I can scoop. I can scoop that Boswell. I can attach probably another... No, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go with a choice bend, and we will try to get another... Femantis into the hand. Um, not sure if I really want to do it, but I'm gonna go for another Lorantis. Yeah, I can snipe the bench, but not gonna be effective anyways. Okay, so right now the top Lele is the target that's taking some extra pressure. And as long as I don't have Mew, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna go with the Rest Challenge for the Rescue Stretcher for that Mew next turn. I, I desperately need that card. But I also need another Ace Roller. That would be amazing top deck. Ace Roller would be amazing top deck. Even Rescue Stretcher would be decent top deck, but Ace Roller is the way to go. There's another Weezing. So for me at this moment without Stadiums, it's really hard to battle, but I'm doing my best. 
it's quite obvious that those wheezing is doing their job and another 40 times 10 for all of my Pokemons on the bench and probably he will have enough damage so Red's challenge definitely for two uh, for two grass energies in exchange for the rescue stretcher. Um, this is the only way to go in this matchup. Um, I mean, I mean it's not the only one because even if I put my uh, Mew on the bench, it's not going to be super effective anyways because next turn he can ax me out anyways with the. So I'm, I'm knocking this Weezing out and he can put 4 damage counters on the Feromosa and Boswell and then Shrine can also finish me but maybe he can set somehow 4 prize card knock up next turn if he can set it up this turn he can probably do it the next turn if I don't get lucky in top decking the Ace Roller for the scoop so 8180. Uh, he decided to go for the Mew instead of the Femantis. I don't know why. If I was my opponent, I would probably just stick going for that Femantis uh, uh, instead of the. Um, yeah, I would definitely go for the Femantis. Oh, actually, as long as the Wazing is in the active position, I'm taking the punishment. So that's quite obvious because next turn he can take the two prize cards by just knocking those Femantis out. Yeah, that damage spread is so bored, it's so strong, it is so, so strong, so I'm taking 10 more, yeah, that's the GG, actually, because of the Shrine. So, without Stadium cards, you really can't battle Shrines and uh, so many damage. I mean, I, I don't think I had a better option against that Weezing. Um, maybe with a couple more Stadiums, I would stand better chance but without them unfortunately they're banned I couldn't win so that's the GG alright so there we go I want a coin flip and I hope I'm gonna have explosive turn one otherwise this is not gonna be good and it looks like it will be explosive turn one at least I have energy for mantis choice band available so something tells me this is gonna be a decent turn setup there's a red challenge as well in my hand I'm not just gonna go with it, at least not for now. Alright, my opponent started with the Mew, so I have no clue about the rest of the card that he have in his deck and what's the game strategy. But I can tell you one thing, I'm just gonna bench my Mew as well and pass the turn because this is the only thing I can play for now. Turn 2 will be Lorantis and Lily play obviously, and then just the Jet Punch for 30. Maybe for 50, maybe for maybe for the now. I might even decide to go with the Beast Game GX to be honest, especially if I'm gonna need to knock that Mew out. What is this? Spirit Tom, Building Spy. The ones doing a turn, you might put one damage counter in this Pokemon. And okay, something, Some, something cries. Um, this is the uh, this is like this 10, 40. Okay, okay. Put 3 damage counters on your opponent Pokemon any way you like. Alright, 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 alright. Let's just let's just wait and see what's Yeah, hustle built, okay, I understand that. Then you can swing for okay. For like um 40 and with with the hustle bend for like a hundred with one energy? Okay, I mean, yeah, it is an interesting damage spread deck for sure. I'm gonna give my opponent credit for that. Um, he's right now in the range of the knock with my Jet Punch, so what can I do? What can I say? It is how it is. No mercy, I guess. We're, we're not gonna need weakness policy anyways, neither the choice band, so let's just go with a little and see if we can if we can get some more energies and maybe yeah, just more energies. Um jet punch. So that rainbow of energy unfortunately made big problem for him. Because he basically knocked himself out. That's the good thing for me. Alright, Shrine will do dam ten damage to me and after that 
he won't have Mew anymore to protect his bench. There's another 10 damage, he can put 10 more with the building spite, and then he can activate that um, hustle belt. But theoretically next turn then I can pull the knockout against both of these Pokemons. I'm just gonna need Goose my energy. Unfortunately I don't have none of these two cards, but I can probably get them with the Ultra Ball for Marshall. Theoretically, but none of that's gonna happen because there is a rescue stretcher for another Mew. And my opponent can recover that Mew successfully, put him in play, and prevent the bench snipe. Still, I think I'm probably just gonna go with the Beast Gain GX, um, getting getting two prize cards, as it looks right now. Or I should maybe go with the Ace Roller and then just swing with the Jet Punch for 30 gently. Scoop Protect and wait for another turn. Um, yeah, I think I have two options available. So this attack does 30 more damage for each damage. Actually, 30 more damage for each damage counter in this Pokemon. Wow, what the heck? 160? That's insane. Okay, so I'm actually forced to scoop my Feramosa and Boswell back into my hand. This is so damn good. What set is this card? That's the new set? That's actually interesting. Alright, again, we're not gonna need this. Let's go with the Jet Punch. Doesn't matter where, as long as I can hit for 50. I'm taking another prize card, which is another Ultra Ball. Yeah, I definitely like this Spirit Tump. It is so badass. It is a very interesting deck. Wow. That's a very interesting deck list. There we go with the Energy Lotto for the Darkness Energy. It's obvious that when you have two, uh, two damage counters, you don't even need to play Rainbow Energy. Wow, Humbrian with the Retaliate for 120. Oh, interesting. Really, really interesting. I really need to play so many magic tricks to stop my opponent there. What is this? Okay, I'm wondering to see what else he plays. Retaliate, 120, fair enough. Um, will I have... Will I have another Acer Ola? I will. Okay, I'm ready for that. Wait a second. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 150, 160, 210. To 30, 60, 70, to 20, to 40, to 50. It's not worth. It's not worth, my friends. Um, but one thing is for sure. I need to knock him out. I still didn't use my GX attack. So because I didn't still use my GX attack, then I'm just gonna jet punch. Then I'm just gonna, I mean, I can win with just a single turn, and I will try to do that. Um, I will let my opponent to knock my um, Pheromos and Boswell so I can power up my um, other Pheromos and Boswell with seven more energies in order to win this game. This is gonna be my strategy, and hopefully, I will be able to do that. So, I'm gonna play Top Lilith for a Latencer strategy, then I'm gonna use my Lusamine. Just why would you use electric power for for God's sake? Why? What is lighting in this deck? I don't see anything lighting this deck has. So two electric powers. I mean, yeah, okay. Something needs to explain what is going on because I just can't see why lighting. Well, I guess never mind. Okay, 10 more damage, so you can swing for 120, 1 something. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself for each damage counter in it. 1 for 80, yeah, I mean, with the choice bent? Wait. 
Okay, interesting. Anyways, um, let's play that top level and let's see if we have Lieutenant Surge. Yes, we have. Okay, three, three, three supporter cards I can play this turn. Uh, Beast Ring. I'm going all in. Four energies. Lusamine and Cynthia. Two more. Uh, not even close. Still, I have a skateboard. Still, I have Netball. And still, I have Let Loose Marshadow. So, hopefully, I can find maybe more copies of Beast Rings. Oh, that's it. That's the GG. Two more Beast Rings with the Marshadow for the win. 4 to 4 price card knockout. There we go. This is going to be a game in a big fashion. So, that's the reason why. This is the reason why I like to play four copies of Beast Ring in this build. So I'm hitting for 70 and I'm taking four price cards because I knocked that Spirit Tomb out for the last four price cards. So that turn when you played Latent Surge strategy for Lusamine so you can protect your bench, protect your Fairmoss and Boswell so your opponent cannot end the game. And that moment when you was able to play Cynthia, refresh your hand for six new cards and play that Marsha to let loose for another um, two B strings. That's what that's the why this deck is actually so good in my opinion. So that's the GG my friends. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Once again, there's a deck list. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit like button, and stay tuned for more following for more future videos. So make sure to follow the link. Um, make sure to hit the notification bell um, so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.